Hey everybody, I'm Troy Stein. My good friend's wife teaches at my alma mater and she was going to be taking her students over to Italy for research that got canceled, naturally. She also got an email from the institution saying you need to prepare for remote teaching. I didn't want her to be left without support, so I made this video showing her how she can teach without having to be in class with the students. I figure she's not alone, so I hope this helps. A lot of details, so let me at least offer this as a way of, of maybe um, working through some remote teaching opportunities. Uh, the assumption is that you've got PowerPoint uh, and that your slides are probably a whole lot better than mine. Uh, I borrowed these uh, from the internet and uh, let's just show, let me just show you how you might be able to pull this off. Uh, first thing I would do in PowerPoint, whether Mac or Window, I'd go into the slideshow menu and make one uh, small adjustment. Go to uh, Setup Slideshow and then Browse by Individual Window. Mac and Windows, the options are pretty much the same, but go to Browse by Individual Window because then when you go to the slideshow mode or however, however you started, if it's from the beginning, that's fine. We'll go there and it opens it up in a window that's easy for you to move around. With this, you can grab the sides and you can get rid of some of the black bars that are in your recordings or that are in your slides. Uh, you can tell that my slides uh, are really just about this big. Cool. So now we've got rid of the black bars. I can do that same on the top and bottom too if necessary uh, to get rid of them. Uh, so we got that about right size. About three quarters size of the window is totally fine. Just something like this. Then uh, we're going to open up Snagit and uh, I can just type into Windows uh, Snagit 2019. It'll open up the application. We've got an all-in-one option, an image, and video. We're going to choose video. We're going to turn on all of these options uh, with the so they're all blue across the side. And I will hit uh, capture. This will uh, give me some uh, crosshairs here, and I can uh, just select uh, by clicking and dragging from one corner to the next and I am just about ready to begin. Now I've chosen to turn on the webcam at the beginning. I think it makes a decent connection, especially when you're remote. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna hit uh, record. Hey everybody, this is Professor Troy. Thanks for adjusting to this new uh, approach to teaching today. Uh, let's jump right into the lectures here. And as long as I click here on the slides, now sort of the slides are in focus, if you will, and I can right arrow, left arrow, I can go any way that I want to uh, within the slides. When you go to the end and you get that last slide, uh, you might come back on and say, hey everybody, thanks a bunch. Uh, let me know what you think. Feel free to engage in the conversation. So the question becomes, well, how do we actually engage them in the conversation? Uh, one surefire way is uh, by using something we call video review. Um, but let's uh, save this recording first. I'm going to uh, save as, I'll put it on the uh, on the desktop and I'll call this one uh, Milky Way and I can put a date on it, 9 March. And I'll hit save. It's going to uh, save to my desktop which I'll then go and into our website called uh, videoreview.techsmith.com. Once I logged in, I'm gonna start a review. I'll browse for that file which I put on my desktop I can even assign a date, like say, they need to watch this by Thursday. And I can add uh, some additional description to it. And I'll create a review. Now my suggestion is uh, just share this with the link. Um, copy this and then post this into your online uh, classroom so that they can watch it and uh, once that's copied when they go into it I'll just paste it here they now can watch your video and at any point in this timeline they can say well, wait I 
thought our galaxy was round. Right? And if they want to, they can even edit it and um, maybe even uh, point to something like um, a, a part of the screen. So, alas, this allows you to have these this ongoing conversation with the class around the topic. Uh, I hope this is helpful for you. Best of luck in this new adventure with your teaching. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.